Hey guys, H84 here, and uh, yeah, I'm just recording this in case like one of my friends says I use the motto or some ridiculous and stuff. So basically, I'm not maxed out in stats yet uh, with Titus or Titus, whatever his name is. I call him Titus. Maybe it's, I'm pretty sure it is Titus, but I don't know. So yeah, with Titus, I have max strength, max defense, and max magic defense. Uh, I have low agility with everybody, and that's my main problem. With everybody else, I have high. I have max strength except for Lulu, because I don't feel like doing the Dom Tom Berry trick with her. So yeah, I uh, I think max strength should be enough. Just use one Blitz Ace and uh, attack reels, and Dark Valifar should die. Well, that's what I'm hoping. And uh, for weapons, I'm just using celestial weapons. I have Riku out because I don't think I want to attack him Orin, and since Orin has first strike, I can just call Walk in for the first attack, and maybe that first attack will KO, uh, will kill the um, Valfar. And uh, I don't think I've Yuna's full overdrive. Yeah. Okay. So. In case if that didn't KO uh, Dark Valfar, I could have probably used Anima, but I don't have the Overdrive Pulse, so I guess Blitz Ace would probably do. Like I said, my only problem is the uh, low agility, so I don't know if, I don't know, I could probably die, because I tried facing this thing before, and it just used, it used, uh, I think, Energy Beam in its first? Ener energy Beam, Energy Ray. I think it used its overdrive in the first attack. I don't remember. But since I have first strike, you know, that's what I'm hoping for. And since Riku has the second highest agility in my party next to Waka, I think. I didn't really. I think Riku has the third highest agility. So, you know, I could switch her out quicker. Alright. So, yeah, as you see, I could just put Waka in. And then I could just attack his attack wheels. And, uh, hopefully this will KO it. Yeah, alright. Let's see how much this does. I have max strength. Maybe I should have, uh, done an armor break. Oh no, that's good. This thing is KO'd. Alright, that was easy. So, yeah. I'm just gonna go grab the sphere and get the trophy because I have every other sphere. But yeah, that's pretty much the first Dark Aeon I've KO'd. And let's see what I get. I don't really care about ribbons or break hit point damage or whatnot. I don't really care about that. Because I don't really think I need it. Stay away from the and I hear Dark Yo Jimbo is uh, easier to get that shit from, so. If anything, I just get it from Dark Yo Jimbo. Alright. So now I have access to uh, the Sade. And I'm pretty sure there's a sphere back here. I, don't, I think it's around. So let me just. Oh, here it is. So yeah, here's a sphere that I'm gonna get a trophy with. That's pretty much always one to have proof that I didn't use uh, Zamato against Dark Aeons and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna end it here. Short video. Goodbye.